Hello everyone, this is Bowman, welcome to episode 16, and this time definitely the final episode of this Let's Play the Tremor mod. I did a little bit of off-camera farming and got three turtle shells. Well, it actually took me long enough, but now we should be able to craft that turtle shield. There we go, turtle shield. Oh, what? We can also combine the turtle shield with the frozen turtle shell and the combined item grants 25% damage reduction permanently? I would assume so. But oh, we need that. Well, damn son, right back into more farming. Because that's what we do here on this channel. Uh, you were looking for fun? Well, you've come to the wrong place for that. We here at Bone Productions spend all day farming. No fun allowed. Oh damn boy, quick press record. We just got the frozen turtle shell. Hell yeah. And this didn't take long at all. Well, I guess average luck doesn't exist for me. <laughs> I'm either in RNG heaven or RNG hell. And in this case, we are back in heaven. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. The less health, the more defense and 25% damage reduction. Man, this should help us a lot. Let's actually test now how much more defense we get as we lose health. 88, 91, 97, and maybe... 105! Uh, what the heck just happened? I told you to stop the black sorcery thingy! Um, just to explain what happened in the scene. I was killed by an executioner zombie and that prefix doubles the damage of a monster if the player is under 20% life. Yeah, sucks to be you, Baum. Alright, I farmed more turtle shells off camera so that we can make the turtle armor and then the beetle armor. Because, let's face it, I don't think that the magmonium armor is getting us anywhere in this situation. <laughs> I got a little chlorified. Freaking great. Alright, uh, be right back. Oh my god, how cool and lucky is that? I got two more turtle shells in like no time. So now we could also make that other shield. And I wonder if you can stack the the less health the more defense effect. Because that would be kind of cool. Uh, but first we have to get more chlorified. Alright, cool. Now we got the full turtle armor. So let's upgrade the turtle armor to the beetle armor now. And we will go for the defensive breastplate. The beetle shell. Alright, cool. And I think the beetle armor will help us a lot. So now we can also make another turtle shield. Sweet. And we should be able to combine it with some other stuff. To make the beetle shield. Freaking awesome. And now of course, let's see if the, the less health the more defense effect stacks with these two shields. 105. 111. 139 defense. And yep. They definitely stack. Wow. Uh, now we got some serious defense going. 139 defense when our health is low. Now that is really good. And we also have the mitigation buffs from the frozen turtle shield and the beetle armor. So I would say let's test our new gear and fight maybe not the coglord. But let's head over to the solar pillar. Uh, it's a bit easier now, but to be honest, I expected more of our new equipment. Well, fuck. Um, yeah, I'm glad we died here. And it should be totally no problem to get our stuff back. So I got my stuff back and I think we should test fight the cocklord again and see if the shields help us. Maybe we survive long enough to kill him. Maybe. Probably not, but let's try anyway. Here we go! Man, this fight just makes me sad and god damn it, Baum! Stop flying into his heat rays! Yeah, no. <laughs> there is literally no way to do this with our current setup. Uh, we just cannot restore HP fast enough. So I guess the only way to fix that problem is to get some life stealing stuff going. So we have to convert our Scourge of the Corruptor to Vampire Knives. And thank you Imksushi Mod for making my life easier once again. Uh, 
Um, okay, that was pure ownage. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I guess we need more invincibility time too. <laughs> And lifesteal is just such a big game changer. I've already pointed this out in the past, but I feel like I have to mention this again. It's just too good. And you know, if there is a lifesteal mechanic for melee and mage, why is there nothing for ranged and summoner? I mean, technically you can just use the vampire knives with any class, but but still. Oh my god, no! I've been here for way too long, and we are so close to beating this comeback pillar. Ah, oh, thanks for being nice to me, game. At least you're sometimes nice to me. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> that rage quit though, <laughs> but it was totally worth it, and you know, super relieving. So now I'm going to play this safe, even if it takes me a little longer. I'm definitely not going to die to this asshole pillar again. Yeah, that's right, suck my dick! Okay, I'm sorry. That was rude. I'll take it back. Actually not, fuck you solar pillar! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh man, but I'm just so glad that we can move on now and take down the last pillar. Which is the bubble pillar, yay! Save the most fun one for last! Alright, I think I'm all set up for the moon lord now. So let's take down the bubble pillar. What? No! We got petrified! <gasps> oh man. Not cool prefixes for enemies mod. Not cool. Especially because the bubble pillar is like almost dead. Wow. This would have been the end of Baum sanity. My god. But there we go, the last pillar is down. Let's get back and get in position. I'm going to do this fight a little cheaply. Uh, reason for that is I just can't take any more rage and I just want to win this and move on. <laughs> Baum, you're probably gonna die anyway. Yeah, funny. Shut up. I'm not that bad, okay? And this final boss is just so well made. I'm constantly on the edge to dying, but I somehow keep getting my health back up. It's a constant back and forth. It's so much fun, I love it! Relogic, I love you for this battle. It almost lets me forget about that comeback solar pillar. Yeah, I keep my eyes on you, Relogic. Mmm, yes! And now the Wyvern is going to finish me, right? <laughs> All right, awesome. And here's to hoping to get an awesome weapon that hopefully helps us to kill the Coglord. Rainbow Crystal Staff? What? I have never gotten this one before. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> but it's rather useless for us. It's probably not going to help much against the Coglord. And the main reason for me to go and kill the Moon Lord was actually to get a better weapon so that we might have a better chance against the Cog Lord. Ah, oh, well. Oh my god, it's so incredibly pretty. It melts my ice cold heart. Ink Sushi Mod, I love you. No homo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the fuck? But it just makes me insanely happy that I can just buy the summoning item for the Moon Lord. That's just an incredible time saver. So let's fight him again, in hopes for an awesome weapon. Yeah, you dead, Moon Lord. Suck it! <laughs> okay, the game is back at shitting all over me. I love you too, Terraria. Okay, a little jump into the future. I started another celestial event and destroyed another solar pillar to get more solar fragments. To make the solar flare armor. Hail to the freaking yeah. All right, Mr. Sir Coglord, if that is even your name, I'm confident that you are going down this time. Let's go, you unfair prick.
his hands are down. You're boned, Cocklord. <laughs> oh man, this feels good. This feels really good. And you know, there are not many moments where I can say, Hey Baum, you did well. I'm proud of you. Good job. But this is definitely one of them. Ah, glorious. All right, what's in the treasure bag? Nice, we got one piece of the armor. And needless to say that... This armor set doesn't really fit to our current progress, like not at all. Um, then we also got these throwing cogs, which is pretty cool. So let's do a rail staff. Whoa! Now this is cool as all hell! I love it! Yeah, the damage sucks ass. Well, that's simply because the Coglord is meant to be fought, like, I think before Pantera or somewhere around there. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, you're so funny, game. Uh, I wanted to try and get another Moonlord weapon and... Yeah, the game decides to give me another celebration. Um, I want a refund, Brilogic. Alright, it's night time again. And that means time for another Coglord. Uh, we still need the two other pieces of the armor. And yeah, um, I'm okay with the game screwing me over when it comes to RNG, right? But please, not in this case. I certainly want to avoid to fight this ass 20 times or more. So, please Terraria Gods, hear my prayers. Hmm. Once you got the right equipment for this fight and you know what you have to do, it's not that hard anymore. Huh. Interesting. Alright, let's see what we get from these two treasure bags. Another helmet, really? And another one? Oh, you. I nicely ask you to be nice to me. And how do you repay me? With more RNG hell. God, I hate you. <laughs> so, hey guys, funny story. If you ever get a trickster moon lord, kill him as quickly as you can. Because he gets stats up all the time. And, well, how should I put it? He fucking has over 1 million health now! Well, not now, but his maximum health would be 1 million. Like, what the fuck prefixes for enemies mod? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tricks the Moon Lord. 1 million HP. Very funny game. Time for another Cock Lord. Sweet! And what's our reward? Two helmets. Whoops! Oh, now we got the melee, ranged and magic version of the helmet. Uh, cool, I guess. But we also got the griefs this time. Hell yeah! Only the steampunk chestplate remaining. Okay, um, another funny story. Once upon a time, I thought I could kill the Coglord without buff potions. Uh, it turned out I got impaled by his heat ray that night. The end. Alright, this time I got my buff potions again. Even though it feels like I can kill him without problems now, he still is a cock. And super dangerous. And should never be underestimated. Lesson learned. Okay, this is getting too close. Nine, 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 I can't risk that. Dying is just not worth it. Whew. 
Woo! Another one down. And it was a really tough fight again. Oh my god! Another armor set! No, 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 wait. All armor sets collected! Oh yeah! At least of what I know, I mean, there could be more. I don't know. Alright, it doesn't really make sense to go over the stats of this armor because... Well, it's there's just no point. It's an early to mid hard mode armor, so yeah. But I think the set bonus is worth the mention. Summons a friendly steampunk drone to def to defeat you. <laughs> oh, auto correction is back at it again. I'm just kidding. Of course it should say to defend you, but it's a hilarious mistake. Alright, so that's it guys, and as you can see, we've collected all 24 armors of the current version of the Tremor mod. And the most difficult ones were definitely the afterlife armor, well maybe not difficult, but it was an insane grind for an okay armor. And of course the steampunk armor, it took a lot of effort to beat and especially farm a boss which is considered broken. And we also needed an unholy amount of ectoplasm for some of the others. But yeah, we did it! Yay! And I'm glad you guys stuck with me until the very end. I really appreciate you guys' support. Alright, as a final thing... Ooh, that's light though. As a final thing, let's check out the luxurious armor combined with the mining potion and light shroomite digging claws. Let's do it! Uh, yeah, I expected it to be a little bit faster to be honest, but man, it's still super fast. Okay, so as usual, let's talk a little bit about the mod, about the Tremo mod. Um, it started out oh so sweet with all these cute little armors which gave you a tiny little boost to a certain class. And I loved it, I still do. Then throughout pre hard mode, you can make so many other armor sets, which is great, and you have a lot of options, but only a few of them were actually worth making. Most of them don't have good stats or are simply too hard to farm. And by too hard, I mean some armors of the vanilla game would be way easier to get and probably would be better as well. So yeah, this goes on throughout pretty much the whole game. For every modded armor, you could make a vanilla armor and probably be better off with that one. Of course you could just play like the way I did and just insist on mainly using modded gear. Because well, you got that mod to play it, right? But yeah, you feel a little bit fooled when you see you could have just made a vanilla game thing and would be better off. If I were to make a content heavy mod, I would make sure that most of my items are slightly better than something from the vanilla game. I feel like you should reward the player for using your modded items. But maybe that's just me and that's totally just my opinion. And currently we are patiently waiting for that 1.3 update which should fix most if not all the balancing issues and also add new content. Well sounds great right? But you know, this update has been postponed since June, I think. And then they said, hey, it will be out this summer. Well, and now it's just sometime 2016. So they are definitely playing with our feelings. <laughs> but I mean, I'm okay with waiting. The only thing that I don't really understand is, why didn't they fix some of the insane problems like the Coglord? with a small hotfix, like it doesn't really seem too much to ask for, right? But yeah, all in all a solid content mod with great ideas. Some of them were just poorly executed or simply not right balanced. But I really like pre hard mode, there was quite a lot to explore and craft. Same for early hard mode. Mid and late hard mode fell a little flat in my opinion. But I don't mind that too much since there is definitely stuff to come in that 1.3 update. Which you better don't postpone again. Deaths of the Tremor mod. But anyways, I guess that's enough talking about the Tremor mod. I'm really looking forward to the 1.3 update. Should be awesome. But yeah, I guess for the last time of this series, 
I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me derping around. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, enduring my stupidity, being patient with me, and yeah, I hope you have a sweet day and stay.